Here we have a field for hiding button 1, hiding button 2, and hiding the group that holds them together. But that's a lot of fields for the client to manage, so let's streamline this. So we want to hide the button when the text inside is empty. Let's select the button and give it an attribute of data parent, and let's select the text and give it an attribute of data child. Then we can head over to our embed, and we'll say anytime there's a data parent attribute that has a data child inside which is empty, meaning there's no text inside the child, then set the whole parent to display none. And if we go ahead and try this, we can clear this text and it hides, clear this one and it hides as well. But now we need a way to hide the whole group. We could select the group and give it the same data parent attribute so that if it has an empty data child inside, it will automatically hide. But the problem is, as soon as we clear the text for just one of the buttons, it hides the whole group. So we need to make sure that this only runs when all children inside are hidden. I asked ChatGPT how to do this, and it says it could only be done with JavaScript, but I found a selector that works. So the way this selector is working is anytime there's a data parent that has a data child that is not empty, so at least one data child containing text, and then we wrap this in a knot to reverse it. So whenever there's a data parent that does not have a data child containing text, meaning that all of its children are empty. In that case, we set the data parent to display none. This data parent is applied to both the buttons and the group. So we can go ahead and clear the text from this button, and since it only has one data child inside, it will just hide. We can clear the text from the second button, and it will hide both the button and the group. And when we bring back in either button, the group is shown again. While this does work great, one thing to keep in mind is this is just hiding unneeded elements on the publish site, while the buttons remove the unneeded elements completely. So instead, we could leave the visibility controls on our buttons, but then automatically hide the group when it has no children. And to do that, we would say whenever this div here is empty, meaning it has no children, set it to display none. So we could apply this attribute to this wrapper that holds our buttons. And then anytime we take the button, move it outside of the wrapper, the wrapper gets set to display none. But when we put the button back into the wrapper, the wrapper is shown again. Now one issue we'll run into here is if we take this button and hide it here, the wrapper is still visible. It'll be hidden on the publish site because Webflow waits to delete this element until we actually publish our site. But inside Designer, it leaves it just set to display none with a W condition invisible class. So one way we could fix this is checking to see if this parent has a direct child that does not have a condition invisible class. So if this parent has at least one direct child and that direct child does not have the condition invisible class, we want to show the parent. But the parent's already shown, so we'll just wrap this in a knot to say when the opposite of this condition is true, then we want to hide the parent. So this will work even if the parent has no children because we're checking for a direct child, and if the parent has a child but that child has the condition invisible class. So what we should notice when we move the button outside the wrapper, the wrapper hides, or if we just take the button and remove it like so, the wrapper hides as well because this child has the condition invisible class. Now, one thing we could do to upgrade this a little bit, not has is at a 91% browser support, but what we could do is take this data hide if empty attribute and say when it has no children, because on the published site, it will have no children. Those children will be deleted entirely. So this has a 95% browser support, and it can be a good fallback to increase our browser support more, while this one handles the designer view. So let's copy this data hide if empty attribute and let's move it over to our actual button group. And that'll allow us to delete the visibility field that was controlling the whole button group. Since this will be automatic with CSS, once both of the buttons are removed, the whole group hides. When we bring back in a single button, the group shows again. And since these buttons are actually being deleted from the publish site, the only hidden element we have is the button group. And for people on really old browsers, the worst that can happen is they'll have an empty button group div that'll just make the spacing feel a little bit different than what we're seeing here. Another field we could potentially remove is this video visibility. And the way we could do that is saying for any video that has an empty source, so the URL is not set, we would set that video to display none. And that means whenever that video URL is filled in, the video would be shown. And when we clear it, the video would be hidden. 
But again, that's just hiding the video element. It's not removing it. So that could add a bunch of unused elements on our published site. For most things, I find it's better to use this control instead. But there are some places that CSS can make our components more streamlined.